Thank you, Steve. One Pennsylvania courthouse is taking the power away from the people when it comes to holiday decorations. Commissioners in Chester County say they're taking control so that no one is offended. Joining us right now is Margaret Downey, president of the Free Thought Society. So, Margaret, they took the power away from you? Yes, they did. They passed a resolution that uh, made our tree null and void, and uh, they're now taking uh, consideration as to what they're going to put up for their holiday display. And I have to emphasize the word their holiday display, because it will be their choice, not the people's choice. Apparently, they've decided that they're going to put up some sort of a display to honor our troops because uh, they claim that this whole thing has just gotten too sticky. You know, everyone wants to get involved now, Margaret. I mean, you at least have to give them that much, right? They, the people Wait, want I to tell you, scene, the Tree of Life, the Kwanzaa stuff, the Festivus poll. You know, when, when my family served in the military, they served to fight for the freedoms for all Americans, religious and non-religious alike. But the tree of knowledge has been vandalized in 2007 and 2008. In 2009, and it, was it was not, not vandalized. vandalized. It was not. Right, right. Uh, it wasn't. So you think people are getting used to not having a Christmas tree or? Yeah. So you think that? Well, they. Right. Yeah, they're, they're starting to accept the non-theist community as a valuable part of the community. We're so happy that the tolerance level had improved, right. but now the hatred that is coming through because of this resolution is just amazing to me. I've already received harassment calls So people and miss the tree calls. of knowledge already? Oh, yes. The commissioners have received hundreds of emails asking for the Tree of Knowledge to be placed equally right. on the grounds. And there's a petition out there with over 300 signatures. And um, we're hoping that all of this attention will make the commissioners realize that the eyes of the nation are on them. And they can uh, exemplify tolerance and acceptance. And they could do a really good turn for the nation when they right. accept... 15% right. of, of, of and, and, our community are non-theists. And, and Margaret, I understand what you're saying, because in a way you feel like your freedom of speech and rights are being taken away. But do you see yeah. at all their, their point of view that it was just getting so crazy out of control with everyone having their request? I mean, th this was no. supposed to be the Christmas season, and then it suddenly became all these other things on top of it. Oh, there's so much room on the courthouse lawn. It's amazing. Um, we, could, we could have about 10 more displays because the regulations right. that we had last year made it possible for zone after zone after zone to be available. And we were even talking to students about a Kwanzaa display. Uh, we want minorities to share the space with us. Right. And in fact, we're saying, you know, even if they do accept the tree of knowledge, if they don't accept other minorities, then we won't give them the tree right. of knowledge knowledge smart so. uh, <laughs> yeah so let's see I mean every day should be a tree of knowledge and maybe that tree of knowledge should come down for Christmas because it becomes Christmas season Yep. So, um, oh no, it's a, we consider it a holiday season. We, holiday. we want to find okay. we want to find common ground with our religious counterparts. Right. And you're celebrating and the way knowledge, we do it. and other people uh, yeah. celebrate the birth of, of Christ. Of the Savior. All right, um, well, it's an interesting also, debate, Margaret. Unfortunately, we have to wrap it up there. Uh, but we thank right. you for your time today. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, and happy holiday. All right. Merry okay, Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he happy drove knowledge. a van. He drove a van to a crowded park with what he thought were.